Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on FNAF. In today's video, we're finally gonna be talking about some FNAF news. I have some FNAF merch news, some FNAF band game news, some FNAF book news, and Security Breach DLC news with a little first look at what we might be getting. <laughs> but first, I have a big announcement. There is officially memberships for this channel. If you haven't noticed in the past week or so, a join button should have showed up next to the subscribe button. You're most likely to see it on desktop rather than mobile, but you might see it on mobile. So memberships are basically like a Twitch subscription, but with these memberships, you get members only live streams. If we get enough members, we might do a members only discord and you get exclusive emotes and you get your name highlighted in the chat when I live stream. It's a lot. So if you want to join that, the join button should be next to the subscribe button. No pressure at all. This is mostly just for the people who've been begging me to start this. So join us for our members only live stream every weekend on this channel. And thank you so much in advance for your support. It really does mean the world to me. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Here we go. So first up, we have some news coming directly from Daco, actually. This is about his brand, Hex, and they recently released their four FNAF plushies, the ones with the magnets. They're really, really high quality, really awesome. And it looks like they're gonna release Golden Bonnie and Golden Freddy next. This is the official image that was released during Daco's charity stream the other day, and they are coming May, Friday the 13th. I'm really excited to see what these look like. The last ones were so, so cool, such premium high quality plushies, and I cannot wait to see See what these ones have in store so if you're excited for this let me know in the comments below check out the hex account on twitter i will put that in the description below of course and congrats to daco for the success with his brand so our next piece of news is also about fnaf merch news and it's nothing huge but there was just some new fnaf merch that was teased at a toy fair i saw this from the great king carter on twitter so i'll put his link in the description below but these are the new fnaf merch images that were leaked at a uk toy fair that's all pretty much i know about it but look forward to these coming to stores maybe sometime soon soon. It's supposedly from a brand called Fat Mojo. If I'm saying that right, I'm so sorry if I'm not. But it looks to be just a bunch of bundles of the original game and uh, all the animatronics, mostly Freddy. But yeah, looks pretty cool. If I hear anything more about this, I will let you know. Let's move on to the next piece of news. Here we go. So this next one is a lot. So there was an article posted on Polygon, which is a pretty famous website, and it's titled Finance of Freddy Spawned a Fan Game Renaissance Shaded by Controversy. So this article came out and it's pretty interesting. It's about the Fazbear fan versus initiative and they actually got Kane Carter Phil Morg to talk in the article so they went into the highs and also the low lows of the Fazbear Fanverse initiative and the FNAF community as a whole so if you're interested in getting a deep dive more into the development process of the Fazbear Fanverse initiative games and some of the highs and the lows of all the stuff going on with that make sure to check out the article I'll put it in the description below but yeah keep an open mind when you're reading it they definitely highlight some of the lows including stuff that's happened in the FNAF community over the past year or two stuff with the Fazbear Fanverse initiative, but I think it's a really good article to shine light on the Fazbear Fanverse initiative, and it's kind of coming out of nowhere because Polygon is a pretty big website, so yeah, go check that out. Keep an open mind. I'm not going to share my opinion. I'm just reporting the news, so let's move on to the next piece of news. Here we go. So this piece of news is actually a really cool one. So we have the Finance of Freddy's Tales from the Pizzaplex books coming out soon. The first one we already pretty much know everything about. The second and third one we have the covers, and we officially have the description of those, and it's pretty interesting. So if you don't know, these books are following the Fazbear Bear Frights books, and these are supposedly stories from the Pizzaplex that we saw in Security Breach. We don't know if these stories are actually true. The books, and if they're canon or not, are really, it's a really foggy area, so I don't know. Usually these books parallel the real game lore in some way, and I think the books are the reason the lore has gotten kind of more confusing over the years, but you know, we'll see what happens in these. So the second Tales from the Pizzaplex book is called Haps, or H-A-P-P-S, and this is the description of it. Have you ever wanted something badly? even though you shouldn't? Steve's dream of a video game programming career and starting a family led him to take a job that seems too good to be true. Aiden and Jace can't resist scaring some young kids in the tube maze of Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizzaplex, and all Billy wants is to become the perfect ideal of what he knows he really is, an animatronic. But in the world of Five Nights at Freddy's, be careful what you wish for. So I'm not going to tell you what happened the last time we got a story about a man trying to be a game programmer we should probably keep an open mind when reading this book. The things that are really interesting to me is Billy wanting to become an animatronic. Kind of screams crying child is a robot, maybe? Hello, Matt Pet. But yeah, I guess we'll have to wait and see what this book has in store. Let's move on to the third one. The third book's description is this. What are you running from? Sam is afraid of just about anything and everything that's unhealthy ever since his father died. Something about the Springtrap costume in the role-playing area of Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizzaplex chills Luca to the core, and Grady 
city's fear of being trapped in small spaces makes working as a Pizzaplex technician extremely challenging. But in the world of Five Nights at Freddy's, our deepest fears have a way of chasing us. Okay. So there is a role-playing area of Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizzaplex. I don't remember seeing that in the game, but I guess we'll have to see what happens. Things that are kind of sticking out to me is the Sam is afraid of just about anything and everything that's unhealthy. Kind of the opposite of what we see Chica in the game. She is a, a fan of everything unhealthy. So it'll be really interesting to see if that story parallels maybe Chica's origins and why Chica is the way she is in the game. So that is the two new descriptions that we got for the Tales from the Pizzaplex books. Let me know Know what your thoughts are on them they're really interesting i guess we'll have to see what they have in store but i'll let you know when more stuff comes out about those the second book should be out august 30th and the third book should be out november 1st 2022 so stay tuned for those those should be out soon and i guess we'll have to see what happens let's move on to the next piece of news here we go so this final piece of news is about the fnaf security breach dlc doco put on a charity live stream the other day that i was a part of and thank you so much doco for having me it was a lot of fun we actually got to play among us with three of the executives at Steel Wolf Studios. It was so nice meeting them. They were so nice and it was so much fun being on that stream and playing Crab Game and Among Us with Daco and everyone else. So congrats to Daco for raising over $20,000 for WWF. And while he was raising that money, some cool things were coming out for Five Nights at Freddy's. So Steel Wolf Studios sent Daco one official brand new poster that we have never seen before. As you know, Daco has been receiving stuff from Steel Wolf for his charity streams for the past year or so. Whether it's new posters, new screenshots from the games, new screenshots of new areas. It was always cool to see what Steel Will brought to his streams. In this stream, it was actually kind of surprising. I didn't expect anything new to come because the game just came out, it feels like, even though it was three months ago. Oh my goodness. And this is the poster we got. And I know it probably doesn't look like a lot, but this is the first official teaser we've gotten for the new DLC. As you know, as we've talked about on this channel before, I have mentioned Chowda a lot and what the heck could Chowda mean because Steve has added something to the Steam database or the, the game files or something like that. I'm not a game engineer, I'm so sorry. Called Chowda that is rumored to be the DLC for the game that they are currently working on. So with the alleged name of the DLC being Chowda, which no one really understood the meaning of, don't look it up on Urban Dictionary, we finally get this poster, which kind of confirms what it means and also that DLC DLC is on the way. As you can see, we have Chica's hand, which kind of doesn't look like Chica's hand because the green is too far up on her fingers to be her actual animatronic form, but we'll look past that. And it looks like Chica is eating Chica Chowda. What are those things in there? Are they beans? Are they uh, children? I don't think this means anything. I think this is just a fun little lighthearted teaser saying, hey, DLC's coming. And I'm gonna say this with my chest, I have no idea what direction they're gonna go with DLC. The DLC could be as big as a whole nother journey throughout the mall, and it could be as small as maybe some extra little presents that we can find throughout the mall. I have zero idea, I have zero expectations. Some obvious things that I'd like to see, Glamrock Bonnie, maybe, maybe a prequel. I would love to see the game with Vanny's perspective. Maybe we're trying to chase Gregory. That would be pretty cool. Cool. I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait and see. I think some other obvious things are the mini games that were cut, some of the cut content that they uh, got rid of for the final game, maybe because of time constraints, maybe because of the file size was too big already. Who knows? I think once the DLC comes out, this game will be awesome because all the cut content will probably be there, plus some added content, plus hopefully they will fix some of the other major bugs in the game. This game had a rocky start, but it is getting there, and you can tell Steve is passionate about making this game the best it can be. So I'm excited for the future of Security Breach. I'm excited for the future of Fnatic and I hope you are too. Anyways, that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like it and subscribe with the post notification bell on so you know the next time I post a brand new video. I love you so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.